like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you. You're watching the Taekwon World Story. Sit back and relax. Taekwon World is a deadly street gang that was started in the West Woodlawn neighborhood of Chicago in 2014. The name was adopted in honor of 13-year-old Taekwon Tyler who was killed in 2012. The set is mixed with gangster disciples and black peace stones. Some call Taekwon World the Little Brothers of STL. Members such as Poppy, Richie Jerk, Lil Bubba and TB all made the set popular by putting in work in the streets. DW was allegedly involved in over 20 murders. The set is known to stand on business. They're probably one of the strongest independent sets in Chicago and one of the youngest as well. Taekwon World went toe-to-toe -to -toe with deadly gangs such as O-Block, 600, Front Street, 800, and 051 Young Money. This is their story. Akira Barnes also known as KI along with FBG Buddha, made names for themselves in the beginning of the war. Before claiming STL they both claimed Jarro City. KI and Buddha both were always gangster disciples. The two became good friends around 2009. In 2011 they took credit for the OD Perry hit. At the time they were 14 and 15 years old. Buddha who was known as Lil Toon Chi was really wild back then. He was known to fight and cause trouble. He was one of the first shorties from the neighborhood to pick up guns. Even Kai was into stealing cars. After O.D. Perry was killed, people began looking at her as a killer. Not only did she become popular in the Woodlawn neighborhood, K.I. became popular on social media as well. People began calling her and Buddha the twins. Younger members of Jar Row City began looking up to them both. Young members of Jarrow City and STL often hung out at G. Daisky's place on roads. At G. Daisky's, the young gang members had the freedom to do what they pleased. Taekwon Tyler was one of the youngest gang members who hung out at G. Daisky's. He was a gangster disciple who claimed Jero City. His father was a well-known gang member as well. Taekwon grew up in the 6500 block of South Washtenaw Avenue in Woodlawn. Him and his two older sisters often hung out with their cousins who lived on Jero City's turf. AI and FBG Buddha took a liking to Taekwon. They began calling him their little brother. Taekwon was known to be brave. He allegedly robbed and extorted older drug dealers in the neighborhood. One time Taekwon along with KI, Can't Get Right, and Medell had allegedly tried jump to block member Chief Keef. Taekwon's mother wanted him away from the gang life. She sent him to live with relatives on the western Illinois border. In the summer of 2012, Taekwon's mother let him come back to the Woodlawn neighborhood for summer break. On June 22, 2012, a huge house party was thrown on the 6200 block of Rhodes. A 13-year-old Taekwon begged his mother to let him go with his 19-year-old sister. The party was filled with Jero City, EBT, STL and Brick Squad members. They were all drinking, smoking and popping pills. STL members were allegedly looking for trouble that night. First FBG Buddha beats up a Jero City member at the party. Shortly after, FBG Duck and other STL members allegedly chased a guy out of the party and beat him down for claiming 300. At around 1 am, Taekwon was leaving the party with his sister and a group of STL members when a member of Jero City fired a few shots at the group. One bullet struck Taekwon in the chest. Taekwon's mother pulled up to the scene and, seen her son laid out the ground fighting for his life. She held him in her arms as he took his last breath. Tiquin was later taken to the University of Chicago Medicine's Cumber Children's Hospital and pronounced dead hours later. The large crowd of people stood at the crime scene grieving. Everyone refused to talk to the police. STL members wanted revenge for Taekwon immediately. The following night, FBG Brick and a few others go out looking for Nate from Jero City. As they leave G. Daisky's, the police stops them and find weapons. 
They were all arrested and FBG Brick would spend the next four years in jail. Nate and Wayne from Jero City both were later arrested and charged with the murder of Tai Kwan. Nate is now serving 55 years in prison. Tai Kwan's death really affected K.I. She changed her social media name to Tai Kwan Assassin and basically took her anger out on O Block and other ops in the city. STL and Jero City remained allies. They had to stick together because their rivals were coming with full force. Sets such as O Block, 600, and TYMB were out for blood. AI and FBG Buddha began teaching young members of Jero City and STL how to do hits. People such as Tuan, Lil Bubba, Richie Jerk and TB who were all members of Jero City helped start Taekwon World. It wasn't an independent set at the time. Taekwon World started off as a set under Jero City. In the beginning, KI and other STL members didn't like the idea of Taekwon World. Not only because Taekwon was killed by Jero City members, but she didn't want Taekwon's name involved in negativity out of respect for his mother. Taekwon World was looked at as goofies in the beginning. They were only a group of wild kids at the time. They wasn't known to be shooters. People such as Poppy, Richie Jerk and TB were known to be good fighters. TB grew up on the 6200 block of Elberhart. He was a boxer and he studied martial arts. Many say he never lost a fist fight as a teenager. His father King TB was a well-known gang member from Paxtown. He died at the age 19 before TB was even born. TB was best friends with Capo from Front Street. The two had went their separate ways around 2011. In January of 2014, TW loosed their first member. Marquise Harris also known as Lil Mo, was a 16-year-old from the neighborhood who claimed Tiquin World and Jero City. And who was also the younger cousin of TB. On the night of January 11, Lil Mo was shot and killed by STL member Manny Fresh who was 20 years old at the time. Lil Mo was allegedly beating on Manny's younger sister at a house party in the 6200 block of South St. Lawrence. Manny Fresh was later charged with the murder, but end up beating the case. Tiquin World and STL didn't feud over the incident. Everyone believed that Manny Fresh was in the right. 14-year-old Venzel Richardson also known as Big V was good friends with Poppy and TB. He claimed Taekwon World and Jero City. On February 2, 2014, Big V along with TB, D-Money and few others were walking south in the 6100 block of South Vernon when a white minivan pulled up alongside them. The driver's side passenger door slides open. Big V and the others break and run. Big V gets shot in the back of the head but still managed to run into a gangway where he collapsed and died. It was too much for a young D-Money who was only 13 years old at the time. He cooperated with the cops. D-Money stated that the shooter was none other than 600 member D-Rose. D-Rose was later arrested and charged with the murder. He's now serving 40 years in prison. Just two months after losing Big V, TW takes another loss. On April 11 that year, Kai was shot and killed by O-Block member King Von. In 2015 members of Taekwon World began catching bodies. In April of that year, TB allegedly shot and killed his childhood friend Capo on the 6000 block of South King Drive at around 2.45 pm. The two were best friends for 10 years. According to TB he threw up in a sink after the murder. He was now a killer. Other gangs began taking TW serious. They were no longer under Jero City. Taekwon World was now an independent set. Members such as TB, Poppy and Lil Bubba began sliding on O Block and 600 every other week. In August of 2016, FBG Brick was released from jail. He loved the whole Taekwon world idea. Brick went to jail for trying to get revenge for Taekwon. He became close to all of TW members. Some say that Brick was more of Taekwon world than he was STL. Members of STL didn't bail Brick out of jail. They let him sit in the can for four years and two months. His bail was only a couple thousand dollars. 
That BG Brick became Taekwon World's OG. When Can't Get Right was released from jail, he followed Brick and began running with TW. The gang became twice as dangerous. More shorties from the neighborhood began joining TW. They were now feared set. Can't Get Right went on hits with TB and other TW members. They were allegedly slinding on any op in the city. FBG Brick began releasing music around this time and managed to build a small fan base. Instead of playing the background, Brick was still a frontline soldier, and just like a lot of the gang bangers in Chicago, Brick used social media to taunt his ops. TW was now playing with more guns as well. The crew was inching to catch more bodies. DB, Poppy and Richie Jerk all began releasing music also. They dissed the ops in all of their songs. In January of 2017, the three released Drell Classic Tai Kwan Wei. The video now has over 2 million views on YouTube. In the song they dissed O Block, 600, 800 and Front Street. On February 14, 2017, O Block loses their top soldier. This was one of the biggest hits in drill history. TW was now on another level. They were now one of O Block and 600 biggest ops. Members of Tikwin World allegedly shot several 600 members after Tiroi was killed. TW was becoming a huge problem for the ops. O Block and 600 both were looking weak at the time. This is when Tiroi's younger brother Hakim jumped off the porch. Akim later known as HK along with Duke and other O Block 600 members, started the Get Back Gang. On June 16, 2017, HK and other members of the Get Back Gang sat outside of Poppy's job. Poppy had a job at L&P Food and Candy Warehouse. While helping a lady out with her groceries, HK allegedly hops out of a vehicle and shoot Poppy multiple times, including three times in the head. Poppy was pronounced dead shortly after. He was 18 years old. DW members were heartbroken. TB threw a fit at Poppy's funeral. He wanted revenge immediately. But the Get Back Gang were too strong for Taekwon World at the time. Theroy had friends who were rap stars. People such as Lil Dirk, Chief Keef, Frito Santana and Lil Reese were all upset about Theroy's death. More guns were in the Get Back Gang possession. Colby Mack was FBG Brick's older cousin from the low end. He became close to Taekwon World by hanging with Brick. Kobe did security work for a living and was licensed to carry a firearm. He allegedly began sliding with and for his younger cousins. Some say that he was overprotective. Kobe was willing to die over his family. One month after Poppy was killed, FBG Brick and Colby Mack were both killed by the Get Back Gang. Brick was only out of jail for 10 months. On September 26th of that year, HK and the Get Back Gang sneaks up on TB and Side from Jero City and shoots them both. Side was shot in the head and TB was shot several times in the head, face, shoulder, chest and torso. Side survives, but TB was pronounced dead at Northwestern Hospital. He was 21 years old. DW had lost two of their top members in only three months. They were low on guns at the time as well. The Get Back Gang had way more firepower at the time, and they were making way more money. 
At an early age O Block members such as Duke NHK were selling pounds of marijuana. They ran a successful operation in Parkway Gardens. A lot of the Taekwon World members had jobs, some were even still depending on their parents. That's what made Poppy a easy target. A lot of people knew where he worked. On November 24, 2017, HK was killed inside of Parkway Gardens. He was allegedly killed by other Black Disciple members. STL, Jero City and Tikwin World all celebrated HK's death. Sliding on O-Block members is difficult. They're protected by the buildings and gates in Parkway Gardens. That always gave O-Block an advantage. Sets such as STL, Jero City, and TW all hung out in front of houses and on street corners. That made them easy to touch. A few STL and Jero City members were close to Melly from 051 Young Money. What many don't know is, 051 and Taekwon World always had tension. It allegedly started when members of TW shot a member of 800. Melly began hanging out in the neighborhood with people such as FBG Duck, Young, Cash, Motor and Side. Taekwon World had no choice but to deal with it. They were still the shorties in the neighborhood. Melly was loved by the Flyboy gang. He supported the whole movement. Just as everyone else, Melly expected FBG to make it. He even attended their shows and hung out with them in the studio. In the summer of 2019, Melly had allegedly shot up a member of TW home while his family was there over a small gambling debt. On August 31st of that year, members of Jero City threw a house party celebrating Can't Get Right's birthday. He would have turned 24 years old. FBG Duck allegedly had a private party that night as well. He didn't invite Melly for obvious reasons. Many say that Duck wasn't dealing with many of the TW members at the time. He allegedly blamed them for breaking into his home months prior. Melly decided to attend the party. At around 2.45 in the morning, a TW member allegedly shoots Melly several times. Melly was pronounced dead at the University of Chicago Medical Center. He was 27 years old. TW members began bragging about the Melly hit. This is when 051 started Melly Way. Melly Way is similar to the Get Back Gang. They were ready to go to war with Taekwon World. In February of 2020, D-Money and other TW members allegedly killed O-Block member Jado. This had allegedly made King Von who at the time was a huge rap star very upset. He allegedly wanted Jado's killers dead. On May 7 of 2020, Melly Way allegedly killed Richie Jerk. The war was now on. 051 Young Money and TW began getting in shootouts every other day. Taekwon World was now all alone. They no longer had STL and Jero City as allies. Members from STL and Jero City both made it clear that they were staying out of it. Even FBG Duck looked the other way. This only made TW go even harder. They continued sliding on their ops. On the night of June 19, 2020, D-Money and other Taekwon World members allegedly creeps inside of O-Block looking for ops. A guy by the name of Armin Proctor was out walking around when three TW members allegedly came from out the cut shooting. Proctor was shot several times and was later found dead on the sidewalk. He was 23 years old. Things really fell apart after FBG Duck was killed in August of that year. FBG Cash began throwing up Wise in his music videos showing love to 051 Young Money. This caused tension between STL and Taekwon World. Richie Jerk's older brother Billionaire Black is a member of the Flyboy gang. Billionaire looked at Cash as a big brother. It broke his heart seeing Cash showing love to his brother killers. The war between TW and Melly Way was deadly. They continued trading fire. In May of 2021, Tikwin World loose another member. D-Money was allegedly shot over 20 times. D-Money is the person who identified D-Rose as Benzin Richardson killer back in 2014. He became one of TW's most respected members. D-Money allegedly had five bodies.
Taekwon World is now a popular gang who plays a huge part of drill history. This is a gang that was started by 13-year-old misguided children. They played by no rules. From day one they were known to be wild and reckless. Members such as Lil Bubba allegedly did hits just for pills when he was younger. TW started off as Jero City and STL Little Brothers, over the years they became stronger and larger than Jero City and STL both. Well, this was the Taekwon World story. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. God bless.